guys and welcome to the channel. Today we have a Star Wars The Black Series from the Mandalorian wave of the Mando in Beskar. So let's take a close look at the pack chain. We'll crack this guy open, go over articulation, and do some size comparisons. So first and foremost, it is the new style pack chain, which I love that creates a photo of the Mandalorian. It's Mando. The side is a nice image of the Mandalorian. Put all, put some pieces together. It creates a portrait. Um, we'll do a read up. It wants to focus. There we go. Read that if you'd like. Nothing aside. Let's get this guy open. All right now we have Mando out of the pack gym, but before we get to the figure, let's go over some of his accessories he comes with. He comes with his blaster pistol. Looks good. Nice paint apps. This is probably the one I'd actually have him. Uh, Posed with, I like the gunslinger aspect. Here is his pulse rifle. Once again, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna probably have him with the uh, blaster pistol, yeah, gunslinger. And then he comes with a jetpack, which again, it's really nice, but I have issues and we'll get to that in a bit. And it's not so much with the jetpack, but more so back with the figure. Um, so let's go over some detail real quick. You know, Baskar Mando looks good. Um, I love the fact that he has the Mudhorn insignia. I think that's really cool. I do have some damage for whatever reason on his chest, but it's okay. I'm say, you know, got shot with a blaster. And it looks like there's damage again there. I mean, it could be the fact that maybe, now it looks like a pretty good defect, but whatever. Call a battle damage. Um, what are you gonna do? You know, everything looks pretty good. It's the same tooling as the original figure. Um, it's just the fact that, you know, it's just a different color. You know, and then this is plastic, um, which this is what I have an issue with because the jetpack goes on here. Um, you know, let's see if we can put it on real quick. Cause this, this, I, I have an issue. I, I just, hold on. This gets in the way. Line this up. All right, so this is my issue right here. That looks silly. Like, why wouldn't they have made this soft goods? And that's my problem. Because, like, like, to me, and I don't want to take the helmet off just to pop the cape off. I just don't, because that's not what he looks like in the show. So, to me, I just won't use the jetpack, because I think it looks silly. The fact that this isn't a soft goods. Like, Boba Fett's is soft good. This is not. I'll pull out Boba Fett during a size comparison, you can see. So, to me, that's, that's really disappointing, especially because it's such a simple uh, solution, you know? But whatever, you know, I don't like to focus on negatives. I like to focus more on positives. But that is, like, that's kind of a bummer because they give you this really cool jetpack. And unless you want to take the helmet off, you can't really use it. And that's kind of a bummer to me. <laughs> but before we get the size comparisons, we'll go over the articulation. He's got pretty good head articulation. He goes down pretty good. Um, his arms move out this much, tendered a tiny bit by the uh, shoulder. He's got a single jointed elbow. He's got uh, hinges in the wrist, all right? He's got a very, he's got a pretty good uh, diaphragm, um, ab crunch, goes back. His legs move out, we'll do this one. This one is a little, little less hindered. His legs move out. He's got a hip cut, I mean, a thigh cut, and he has a double jointed knees, which is always a good thing. Gotta love those double jointed knees. Foot goes down, goes up. And he has ankle pivot. So, all in all, I think this figure is really cool, if, especially if you want a Mando figure. Mando's probably my favorite character of, of the Star Wars trilogy, and he's become one of my all-time favorite characters. He's basically like Han Solo, but with Beskar. <laughs> so, let's uh, get some size comparisons out, and then we will end this review. Right here is the Mandalorian with some other characters, but real quick, I wanted to show you, this is what Hasbro should have did. Why? Why couldn't you give that with him? You had the piece, just dyed a different color. So I think that that's what makes it really frustrating for me with this figure. As much as I love this figure, it's just really frustrating because they already had what they needed. Honestly, they trimmed it. They just needed to trim it down and dye the color. So that was really frustrating on my part, on, you know, on the part of the figure. But all in all, if you guys want to throw, uh, throw him in your display, he looks really great next to Moff Gideon and his trooper. We'll swap the trooper out for Boba Fett. And I think they look cool. So all in all, I really do like this figure, but if you want them with the jetpack, I mean, you're gonna have to take the cape off. And like I, said, I just don't wanna do that because I do like the cape. It's a part of the character. He has it on all the time during the show. 
So, I don't know, maybe they'll give us another figure with soft good cape, because I'm sure I'm not the only one that has complained about that, because it just looks silly. But all in all, really good figure. I recommend it, especially if you want to get a Mandalorian. I know they're a little bit hard to come by. I only have this one, and I have the original with the um, before he got the Beskar, which I really love. So, but it's in my it's in a plexiglass case, so that's why he's not in this size. But all in all, guys, really good figure. Please like this video, comment down below, and if, you, if all else fails, please subscribe to my channel. Subscriptions have been really awesome lately. And I love to continue to see this channel grow. Thank you guys. Bye.